So my name's Alan. I am a ski patroller at a small resort called Charlotte's Pass. I work there in the winter. I just love being in the mountains. Always had a passion for being in an alpine environment. Always had a passion for skiing. And that dictated so many aspects of my life. I've skied all over the world. I've climbed mountains all over the world. And I can now say at the end of a uh, corporate life, of which I'm mostly retired, I've finally arrived at a point where I can be a ski bum. I just love it. Love the alpine environment. Our typical day if we're staying off the mountain is to commute by Skidoo, which is a 10 kilometre commute uh, across the snow from Perisher into Charlotte's. We are then involved in setting up the resort and opening the lifts and after that uh, we get to ski a fair bit. Um, at the end of the day it's pretty well the reverse. We shut down the lifts and in a good winter's day we would skidoo also from Charlotte's back to Perisher in order to get out. The unfortunate part of our job is to deal with casualties on the snow. So um, that first day, that casualty retrieval, the management of casualties on the snow and back into an over-snow ambulance is also a part of our role. Probably the greatest challenges we ever face are the weather. An alpine environment at its worst is um, a difficult place to work and potentially a dangerous place. Um, and that can work both ways. When we have really difficult weather conditions, often it can bring the best snow, um, but it also means that we have to work in that um, while the bad weather is happening. So this beautiful C16 van is at a place in the Snowy Mountains in Kosciuszko National Park called Island Bend Campground. Perisher is just up the road. In the past, I've had a fair bit of canvas and vinyl, and because of the prominent winds here, um, that can be really distracting at night. And so one of the best things about a caravan like this is that it's completely enclosed, it doesn't flap in the wind. I was also looking for something where the cooking, if the weather turned nasty, you have the potential for cooking inside. I also wanted to have a bunk configuration for both of my children. They're both um, teenage children, they both equally share a passion for skiing, so I needed to have good accommodation for them. So there were several things that I was looking for in terms of a choice of a van um, and some of the reasons that drew me to the Cub. Um, build quality and reputation absolutely um, was part of the, the deciding criteria. Um, Australian made and Cubs um, insistence of using as many Australian components as possible and so that was certainly part of the buying criteria. So the C16 has got a number of features I think are essential for prolonged winter camping. The complete absence of canvas or vinyl um, to make sure that it doesn't flap and move around in the wind was crucial. Um, a diesel heater integrated, absolutely game changer in this environment. Uh, so that was certainly part of the purchasing criteria. Um, the amount of solar uh, gain, the amount of solar panels on the roof on this thing, coupled with a very large battery capacity, um, meant that we could now, in bad weather, and particularly in high winds, use microwaves and an induction cooker. Um, and for anyone who's camped in this environment in very high winds with gas cookers outside would know the limitations of gas. So one of the important things about the C16 was the extensive electrical capability that this offers and it offers flexibility for bad weather. That was also a critical decision uh, in, in making sure that we got a van like this, like the C16. The the coldest I have camped in this C16 um, was right at the very beginning of winter. Um, at the campsite in Island Bend we had several nights that were solidly sub-zero. I think minus six, minus eight, minus eleven was the coldest, with daytime maximums of only two or three degrees above zero. Um, so in that environment all of the systems work well. Um, so the diesel heating was obviously operational for a fair amount of that time. Um, I had no problems with the fuel lines um, freezing. I had no problems with the operation of the diesel heater. Um, the water lines, I had actually thought I might need to drain anything, um, but because everything is so well insulated, um, even in those temperatures, um, I drained nothing and learned to trust 
the water systems um, and they have not failed me. There's nothing that's frozen. Um, it's equally serviceable in the morning and the evening. Um, and really there's been no special consideration even for those temperatures for both the heating and the water. It's, um, it's a good thing. Probably the biggest challenge of living in a caravan in this sort of alpine environment day in day out is managing condensation. Um, and so typically I will try and do as much cooking as I can outside um, and you know, irrespective of the cold um, in order to manage the condensation loads. To a very large extent that is mitigated however because there is an awesomely good diesel heater um, and that helps drive out a lot of the condensation but you really need to be careful about managing condensation. Other than that, um, this really is luxury camping in an alpine environment. Relative to living in a tent, there are very few challenges. In this environment, you still see people camping in tents and in swags, and it is a short-term thing only, and they will realise the error of their ways after a period of time. So the C16 is like a haven to come back to at the end of a working day. Um, it's warm, it's snug, um, and some of the work days, depending on the weather, can be quite difficult, and we can get back here with quite a gear that is quite wet and sodden. Um, one of the best things about the configuration with the ensuite in here, um, I use it very much as a drying room. Um, so there's a bunch of ancillary hooks up there. Um, it, it means that wet gear can dry with the diesel heating in the van, um, but to the extent that it's dripping, it actually just flows out um, and it's caught in the shower recess and drains out of the van. In some of the other units that I've had before, typically that would result in puddles on the floor and we don't have puddles anymore. So um, it's a good thing. Turn on the diesel heater, let the clothes dry and the clothes are dry every morning um, and we're ready to go again. Family living in the C16 is fabulous. Um, we chose this configuration with a bunk layout. Um, so that both of my children had a comfortable place to be at their end of their day skiing. Um, for my 16 year old boy who skis full time, um, he comes back to this into his bunk bed, nestles into it and says, this is like a cocoon. This is the same as my bed at home. Um, and I would echo that sentiment as well. Um, Abby, my daughter, uh, same thing. Um, they both love sleeping here. They both find that they sleep a lot better than they have previously when camped here. Um, and particularly, once again, because of the lack of canvas. Um, Josh, my boy, has at times used a swag in winter. He has learnt the error of his ways. He comes back to this place now, and for him, it's just a little cocoon of paradise. My experience of Cub after sale support has been fantastic um, and I have actually have been called upon to utilise their after sales uh, support. Um, in my words, I think Cub have gone above and beyond what any reasonable business entity would do to support their customers. Um, and that accords fully with the reputation that I have previously heard about Club. So, um, in that front, I feel confident that they stand by their products and in my personal experience, that's exactly what they do. Uh, what are the best things about this? One, there is no noise with any wind at all. Um, there's enough insulation here, both thermally um, and from an oral point of view, that it's quiet to be in. And Anyone who's spent any time at Island Bend on a really big blow would know how valuable that is. So um, it's quiet, um, it's thermally efficient, it's really, really light. Um, and on those dark, dismal winter days, with the amount of light we're getting around here, it's just a fabulous place to be. It's warm, it's comfortable, it's efficient, it's well laid out. It's a good thing. Um.